Hi Virgo, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a freestyle reading, taking a look at the current energies between you and your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings, and also my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, Virgo, let's take a look at what are your person's current feelings for you. Let's see. All right. Spirit, angels, and guides, please show me how does this person currently feel about Virgo? Whoever it is that Virgo is connecting to and dealing with in love. What are this person's current feelings for Virgo? All right. What are this person's feelings for Virgo? All right, so we have the Knight of Wands, Magician in Reverse, and the Four of Pentacles. Hmm. Some of you are dealing with a Gemini or Virgo, or I mean another Virgo or Fire Sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. This person is holding back from pursuing you with the Knight of Wands. They want to pursue you, but they're holding back with the Four of Pentacles. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Why are they holding back with the Four of Pentacles, Spirit? Why the Magician in reverse to the Four of Pentacles? So we have the Three of Wands in reverse to the Two of Cups in reverse and the Three of Swords. This person feels kind of disappointed or heartbroken over something that has happened between you two or some sort of conversation that you two had or some sort of action that you took. Let me see. Tell me more about this person's current feelings for Virgo. The Hierophant in reverse to the Two of Wands and the Ace of Cups. This person, it feels like this person is um, thinking about new love. Okay. Virgo, I feel like this person is thinking about someone else, like about moving towards someone else some someone new with the ace of cups just to be honest here it doesn't feel like they're looking at you feels like they're looking at someone else or thinking about someone else this feels like a ghosting type of energy this this feels like someone who is thinking about like ghosting this relationship Abandoning this, abandoning this relationship and moving towards another option. Let me see. Tell me more about... Yeah, tell me more about the Two of Wands, Spirit. Clarify the Two of Wands. Why is the Two of Wands in this person's feelings for Virgo? The Knight of Cups to the Fool in Reverse and the Emperor in Reverse. All right, Virgo. Well, this feels like an energy of, well, it feels like this person is saying, like, if Virgo doesn't need me, then I don't need Virgo either. I can, I can move on and find someone new. Easily. Easily. 
I'm not going to waste my time anymore with Virgo. They feel like they're not getting what they want with you. I feel like they are in this energy of being a little bit vindictive or spiteful, I want to say. All right, let's see. Tell me more, Spirit, what are um, this person's current feelings for Virgo? Tell me more about this person's feelings for Virgo. Hmm. Oh, what did I say? What did I say? Look at that, Seven of Cups. Yeah, this is someone who has their options open or, or someone who's opening up their options. Six of Wands is an energy of ego and pride. I feel like someone is um, moving towards other options, like I said. They're moving towards other options and they're doing it like from a very egocentric place, from a very e egocentric energy. Yeah, because we have temperance in reverse. So something didn't go their way, like I said. Something was not what they expected, what they planned, what they wanted. So they're in this energy of like ditching, wanting to ditch the relationship with you and find someone else to replace you with the Seven of Cups. Let's see what's going on here. Let me see if I can clarify. Um, let me see. Actually, everything's spirit. Um, Seven of Cups, Temperance, and the Six of Wands. Tell me about all of these cards. Why is this how this person feels about Virgo? Seven of Cups, Temperance, and the... And the Six of Wands. Thank you, Spirit. Well, they're putting on a show a little bit here. They want to make you feel like, like you're losing them. Mm -hmm. They're trying to get a reaction out of you, Virgo. They're trying to get a reaction out of you. They're they want to make you feel like you... You're about to um, lose them, like they're about to walk away and you're about to lose them and the relationship is going to fall apart. And I feel like they're hoping you react. Why is the Eight of Swords here, Spirit? Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Yeah, this person is not getting their way with you in some, in some aspect. And they're running out of ideas on how to get what they want. What is this Eight of Swords spirit? What is it that this person wants here? Queen of Wands in reverse to the Ace of Wands. This is what they want, this Ace of Wands to the Eight of Cups. Yeah, I feel like this is what this person wants. They want this Ace of Wands energy with you. This is all about, you know, a passionate new beginning with you, a quick, a quick passionate new beginning with you. But they're not getting that. So I'm guessing you're not really, um, you're not really working together with this person here. What are this person's intentions? Actually, what is that Ace of Wands spirit? Tell me about that Ace of Wands in regards to what this person wants with Virgo. Why the Ace of Wands? I feel like this person was expecting things to like happen more quickly between you two. Some sort of quick response from you. Yeah, 
that's it yeah five of swords wheel of fortune and the judgment card yeah they were expecting some sort of quick response quick reply quick reaction they wanted to get something going with you but they wanted it quickly and i feel like they lost their patience here with the temperance in reverse and they're in the and now they're in this energy of like well you know screw virgo i'm moving on i'm finding someone new i'm going towards another option you know that's what i see virgo all right well let's move on to your feelings let's see this deck all right let's see um spirit angels and guys what are virgos what are virgos current feelings for this person please thank you how does virgo currently feel Virgo currently feel about this person, whoever Virgo is connecting to and dealing with in love. What are Virgo's current feelings for this person? Thank you, Spirit. All right, here we go. In regards to your feelings, Virgo, we have six of wands in reverse to the emperor. And the judgment card in reverse. Okay. They had the judgment card over here upright. Yeah, I feel like this person wanted some sort of new beginning or second chance with you, but you didn't really open the door for them. At least not when they wanted you to open the door. Because you have reservations here with the emperor. Emperor is someone who is very careful about taking any quick action because they want to make sure they're not making a mistake. Mm -hmm. And you didn't have, you, you didn't feel any confidence here with the Six of Wands in reverse. You didn't feel very confident about this person and, and about their intentions. So I feel like you held back and you didn't quite open the door exactly um, for this person. And they took it the wrong way. They took it like you're rejecting them. I don't know, not necessarily. I don't think so. Let me clarify that emperor. Let's see, what, what is this emperor about, spirit? Why is the emperor here in Virgo's feelings? Nine of Cups in reverse. Yeah, look at that. To the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. And the King of Pentacles. Oh, okay. Well, you didn't have any trust in this person at all. Any trust or faith in this person and, and in their intentions. Yeah, I think you want this Knight, this King of Pentacles. Yeah. This feels like what you want. King of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. Hmm. I feel like you, um, what you want is something stable, committed, reliable, and you didn't get the impression that this person was in that same energy. You weren't getting that impression from them. Hmm. You might have been looking at this person like they're a player. They're a player. They just want to, you know, have their way, have their cake and eat it too. And looks like you weren't about that. 
So it looks like you did not open the door here for this person. Hmm. Interesting that it's with the Nine of Cups in reverse, though. Nine of Cups in reverse kind of tells me that you, you do really want this person or you do feel a strong emotional connection to this person, but it's like you're not willing to settle or, or to compromise for less than what you deserve. I feel like you want something long term. And you don't feel like that this person is bringing that to the table or offering that. Tell me more about what was this? The Emperor. Okay. Tell me about um, tell me more about Virgo's feelings for this person's spirit. What are Virgo's current feelings for this person, whoever they're dealing with in love? Oh, five of cups to the ace of swords and the page of wands. Page of wands, Virgo? I don't, why are you in this energy? Kind of like hoping for communication from this person. You have a weak spot for this person, don't you? Mm -hmm. This person knows that too. I would say be careful because I feel like this person knows you have a weak spot. They're definitely manipulating things here to try to move things in their favor. I feel like they're poking at your emotions. They're trying to trigger you because they know you have a weak spot with the five of cups. It looks like you're waiting for communication from them because you are feeling sad. You're feeling sad and disappointed. You wanted this person to fight for you and to prove themselves to you. But instead, they're ignoring you or disregarding you. What is this um, Ace of Swords to the Page of Wands? In regards to Virgo's feeling spirit. Why the Ace of Swords to the Page of Wands? Uh-oh, look at that. Temperance, uh-oh. Temperance to the Six of Cups and the Two of Cups, Virgo. Mm -mm. I don't like it. No, I don't like it. I don't like it because this person is in the opposite energy here. They have temperance in reverse. So you have all the patience here. Like you have all the patience in the world to, you know, to build up a solid relationship, a solid foundation with someone. Because you're coming from a place of love. But this, you know, you're coming from a place of love with the Two of Cups, but this person is not coming from a place of love. They're coming from a place of, you know, I want what I want. This is what I want, and I want it now. You know, these are my needs. They just care about their needs here. I don't really see the love here. You're coming from a place of love and you're coming from a place of this temperance energy, you know, patience. Like you have no problems, you know, slowly building up a foundation and a, a relationship with this person. If it means that you two can last, can be long lasting. You know, so it's like you're willing to invest the time and the, you know, the patience, the, the work, the effort. 
if it's for a cause, you know, if, it, it's, if it's for a valuable cause, a good cause, then you'll do it because you care, because you're coming from a place of love. But this person is not matching you, Virgo. It doesn't even look like they're appreciating that or valuing it. So I do feel like you are very disappointed here with the Five of Cups. But I don't like that you have this Page of Wands and Ace of Swords because it's like you're still kind of holding on and waiting to see if this person will change, you know. You're not quite grasping the reality. You know, this might be kind of like you're still, you're still kind of wearing rose-colored glasses, you know. I don't feel like this person is who you think they are, you know basically. I think you might be seeing this person, you know, the way you want them, the way you want to see them, but you're not seeing them, you know, for the reality of who they really are. Yeah, you're not seeing them correctly here. Or you're seeing them, but you just don't want to believe it, you know? Because you know they're non-committal with the king of, king, king of Pentacles in reverse. You know you're non-committal, but I feel like you... You might be giving this person too much leniency or flexibility or like benefit of the doubt. I, I kind of want to look at the Five of Cups, actually. Tell me about the Five of Cups spirit in regards to um, Virgo's feelings here. Why the Five of Cups? <clears throat> What's this? Chariot. Okay. Chariot. Yeah, I think you wanted, you wanted things to move forward with the Chariot. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Magician to the six, seven of pentacles in reverse and the five of wands. Magician is all about like manifesting and it's also, it's the card of Virgo also and it represents manifestation when you're trying to manifest something. But I think you've been trying to manifest something that is, um, that's not good for you because we have the five of wands here. This is an energy of drama and conflict. And we have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, which is um, a failed investment. So this person doesn't really fully invest themselves in you, and they also bring a lot of drama and conflict into your life. And I feel like that's what you've been attracting to you, you know? with the magician card. So that's something that you have to like be mindful of. Tell me more about um, Virgo's feelings spirit. Moving forward. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, this is um, like a sense of abandonment or rejection. Yeah. Tell me more. Virgo's feelings. The world and the two of swords in reverse. Okay. I think I like this energy actually. This two of swords in reverse kind of feels to me like um, you're, this is where you're taking off the glasses, the rose colored glasses. And with the world card, I feel like you are going to close out this cycle with this person. Um, because with the five of pentacles, I do feel like this person is, I'm getting like ghost, like a ghosting energy. I feel like this person is going, going to ghost you.
but it's a good thing that they do actually because I feel like that's what's going to help you um, take off the glasses the rose colored glasses because I feel like if they would have kept you know kept connecting to you I feel like this would have dragged out a lot longer because I do feel like to a certain extent I do feel like your feelings for this person um, was clouding your judgment not 100% but you know it was partially clouding your judgment so I feel like if this person you know wouldn't have ghosted you you would have been in this situation for a lot longer and that would have hurt you even more so it feels like a blessing that this person is going to ghost you you know maybe you might not feel it you know that way which is understandable but i feel like that's what it is i feel like it's a blessing it's going to open you up to something completely new. And I feel like you're going to, you're going to feel the shift in your energy. I feel like you're going to feel a lot lighter in your energy. And you're going to feel like more, more aware, like you've gained wisdom and, and, and more awareness. And that's going to cause you to attract better people in your life, you know? So, yeah. Let's see what actions this person will most likely take moving forward into the future. What actions will this person take towards Virgo moving forward? into the future. The moon in reverse to the eight of swords to the four of swords to the three of cups and the Page of Cups, and the Nine of Wands. Yeah, I definitely get this energy of them um, eventually they're going to feel regret, is what I'm feeling. Yeah, because whoever they're moving towards, whatever other options they're moving towards, it's not, it's not anyone they're going to really respect or have any true connection with. And I'm definitely feeling like regret is going to hit this person here. And they are going to want to reconnect with you with the Three of Cups. However, I don't feel like they're going to do that. Because I feel like there's like this energy of embarrassment in their energy. Like feeling a little bit too embarrassed to come back around to you. Tell me about that spirit. Page of Cups, Nine of Wands. Oh, yeah, look at that. Seven of Swords to the Ace of Pentacles and the Justice card. Yeah, they know they did they know they did something wrong here with the Justice card and the Seven of Swords. They know they were deceptive or um They know they um, like played you dirty, I f I'm getting. They know they played you dirty. Uh, I, actually, I want to know what that is. What is that spirit? What's the Seven of Swords here? What did this person do? Lovers in reverse to the Two of Wands and the Queen of Swords.
This feels like a little bit of a two-timer energy, actually. So this person knows they were two-timing you. And, you know, manipulating you or deceiving you in some way. Um, so with the Justice card, I feel like this person is going to have a, a heavy conscience. You know, um, their, their conscience is going to weigh heavy on them. And they're not going to return back to you even though they want to. Or at least they're going to hold off. They're going to hold off for a good while before returning back. Because, you know, they're going to be aware that they made a mistake. And I feel like they just don't want to, they, want to, they don't want to confront that. Because they know you're going to bring it up, you know. They know you're going to bring it up. They know you're going to make them talk about it. And it's like they don't want to talk about it. They don't want to acknowledge it. So I feel like this person might wait some time for you to kind of forget about things before they try to reconnect with you with the three of cups. Okay. All right. Virgo, that's what I see. I hope this reading helped you. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Take care.